Sup guys, my name is Justin, joined with Nate. What's up everybody? And today, we are going to be telling you why the Heavy Infantry Mandalorian, aka Paz Vizsla, is a Black Series banger. Ooh, so Nate, last week we did the armor. Mm-hmm. So, what better companion piece to the armor, especially if you've been watching Season 3, yep. than Paz Vizsla here? And we might have to game the algorithm a little bit and talk about these very important Season 3 Mandalorian characters. Right, because you're not full-on banger status with, with old Paz. Yep, yep. But still just an excellent figure, and we wanted to highlight him. Deluxe number two, mm -hmm. the only deluxe mainline of 2019. Yeah. And we actually had this like pretty much around when the show dropped. Yeah, I want to say it came out right beforehand because I feel like I remember having the Mando that was only in 15 minutes of you know the first episode. And, Durastilia. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, and Heavy Infantry Mando. I, re I feel like I remember having both of them for the premiere of season one. Yeah, because he was like Best Buy exclusive... But then not really anymore after yeah, that. Yeah, it was like a very, <laughs> very, very brief, like, short pre-order mm. window where it was, oh, only pre-order at Best Buy or whatever. Yeah. But, Nate, I love when Hasbro does this. Mm -hmm. They've done it a few times before, like, with the Gamorrean Guard, and they did it with Heavy Infantry, when he's a big, bulky boy, mm -hmm. but they just give him, like, the best articulation imaginable. This, can you hear this? <laughs> Listen to the butterfly joints. Butters in a 2019 like red and black box yeah. figure. That's kind of crazy. Paz has butterfly joints and you know we're huge fans of butterfly joints here at Out of the Basement. Gauntlet Swivel. That one's not making noise. So <laughs> yeah. it just it blows my mind, the articulation. The double neck peg mm -hmm. with the dumbbell joint, you know, in the back and forth and everything. It's just yep. the articulation. Single deep cut elbows. Nope. Well, there's pins on the legs, but not on the elbows, mm -hmm. which is nice. Just, I, like I said, I love when they take this big hulking mass of a character and you expect like, oh, kind of like Jazzwear's Spartan collection. You're like, that's not going to have the best articulation, but no, great articulation on mm -hmm. heavy infantry, yep. AKA Paz. No problem holding that big old blaster either. Yeah. You can pose them in a variety of different ways. Also, like you've seen with this figure, weapon storage. Yeah, weapon storage is great. Always Jet love pack. weapons storage. Pegs in and out. Same thing with, you actually took yours off because the thing that's holding this from banger status is the tube that was connected to the flamethrower mm -hmm. connects to the jetpack on the figure whereas in the show it actually goes like more up into his shoulder armor mm -hmm. and that kind of goes back to we had this figure like before the show aired right so they were clearly going off of some concept images and they just had that little inaccurate part of the figure i think you know, a lot of people like to have the figures when the show comes out. Mm -hmm. Sure. There's there's a price to pay for that. Yeah. They're... And the and the price is Paz's tube went into his jetpack yeah. instead of his upper shoulder so armor. You sacrifice a small amount of accuracy to get it when the show releases, but that's fine. Yeah. That's and fine. And also, just to briefly mention it, we could have got the Vibro knife because that was season one. But th those are the, my only two gripes. Those are really my only two that, gripes. That is true. We should have got the Vibro knife. But the paint mm -hmm. back in 2019, there is a dark wash like all over, like on this boot armor, mm -hmm. the gauntlet over here, there's a dark wash on a lot of different parts of this figure. And it's just, I love all of the details. Yeah. I think one part of the paint apps that you don't see too much anymore is the actual pouches themselves have the buttons yes uh painted on them like even Cobb vanth the deluxe <laughs> figure is missing some of those details with those buttons mm -hmm. damn it so it is cool to just see just how much paint used to go on these this was deluxe you know d2 mainline mm -hmm. back in the day but again it's just one of my favorite figures to fiddle with it's a fiddler it's a fiddler it is a fiddler it's bulky but well articulated and like you said it has some minor inaccuracies but really it's pretty dang close otherwise there's really mm -hmm. nothing else that's like super egregious about the actual design of the figure mm -hmm. when you have a big bulky boy with great articulation it's the key to my heart nate <laughs> it's the key to my heart and that 
is why Paz Vizsla, Heavy Infantry Mandalorian, is a black series, a banger. Now we just need Ragnar. <laughs> Ragnar. Leave a like, subscribe if you're new, join all our stuff, links in the description, everything. Thanks for all your support. I've been Justin from Out of the Basement, joined with Nate. We'll see you guys next time. See you guys later.